We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 36 yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down. Keep the defense guessing. He's tackled at the 44. And he's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That's good enough for another West Virginia. First down. And he's tackled at the 16. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Throws a strike over the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Touchdown, West Virginia. And he converts the extra point. So that's a six play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score, seven nothing. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kansas State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback to this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. Game number 13 on the way. First down. From the 48 yard line. First down. Ready! Green 88. And they make the stop at the 45. around the 48-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? It's third down and 10. Ball in the 48. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check flight 47. Check flight 47. Hey, pick your game up. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a deal six on the play. That'll make it second and four. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at the 15 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. 
Brought down around the 14 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 14. And he's taken down at the six yard line. A nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight. That'll make it third and one. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's on the run, heading for the corner, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. There to stop him. Knocked down, incomplete. Third and eight. Ball on the 38 yard line. Going deep. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the five-yard line. Makes it out to about the 20. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. from their own 24-yard line. It's third down. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. That makes it first and 10.
Got an opening. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's good for him. 12 yards. First down. That's going to be a long day. That's going to be a long day. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive lines and drop the back for a loss. That brings up second and 13. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. Brings his down. Of six on the play. That makes it and here's seven. another third down. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Here we go. <laughs> nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Call it a game of three yards. First, First and ten. Ball on the 44. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a game of four on the That'll make it third and 13. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Hey, check. Three. Here's the halfback on the screen. The screen is good for four. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. He'll try to knock this putt down inside the 20. Booming kick. This putt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Third down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. I got one, I got one. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds around the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. He's hit and taken down. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That, that brings, brings up fourth, fourth and 15. 15. Oh. 
They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 33. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 31. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. Throws it deep. Oh, what an interception. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 35-yard line, first down. the middle for a nice game. Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 40. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Rose complete and he's hit right away. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. West Virginia could take the lead with this field goal. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, start offense. offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Kansas State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and 10, ball on the 44. Red. 
It is he throws, and it's going to be picked off. He's at the 30 for the 20. For the 10. And he's tackled right around the six-yard line. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He airs it out. Missed him. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Loss of two by the halfback. Toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 41-yard line. example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he 
gets tackled right away. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires to the end zone, picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. They make the stop at the 37. You know, I love this offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the game. He's a little bit unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up a first down. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Again with the run, and down he goes at the 32. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Taken down at the 39. That's good for the game. Seven yards. Fourth down. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Made at about the 31. Brought down around the 32 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Man can't tack on any yardage. He lets it fly. Complete. It's the junior. Touchdown, West Virginia. Catch gives him 100 yards receiving. You gotta love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. And he hits the PAT. 
a five play 79 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 14-7. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. West Virginia is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. And it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's a great tackle at the 41. Gain of nine on the play. First down. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-7, Mountaineer. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Ready! He's at midfield. Gains his way to midfield. That's good for Gain. That brings up second and one. That was awful. Come on. You guys can do better than that. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. 30 was the mic. Hand off to the right. Nice run to the outside. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of five, five yards. yards. First, First down. down. Larry, Larry. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Cut. Got an opening. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. 31's the mic. Let's go! They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And it's caught, and he's run down quickly. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. the distance and he got it and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kicker 14 10 West Virginia they line up to kick this one away he just drills this one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. Ten 
Sends it out quick. Intercepted. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That makes it third and seven. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. The ball pops free. And the ball hawking safety scoops it out. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks. And the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's tackled at the 19. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Just under two minutes in the game. He gets to about the 31-yard line. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. Gets out to about the 31. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. That's good for 32 yards. Third down. Mike six. Mike six. Go. 33-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. He fields the punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Kansas State staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Throws incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. And it was easy, 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 easy. That's a gain of seven on the play. He zips it. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. From the 44-yard line, first down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike. Under a minute left in the game. Check. Ready. 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 Under heavy pressure. 
They bring him down. Spikes the ball. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. chance well you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter catches it gets out of bounds well neither team could muster much of an offense today it's final 14 10 West Virginia that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.